Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new video. My name is Josh Snipes and I'm going to be starting a new series today called How to Play an Operator. Now this is a series I plan to do across all the operators in Rainbow Six Siege and especially as new ones come out or if they make big changes to other ones I plan to remake videos or make new ones um, according to that. Anyways guys the point of how to play an operator is going to be how to play an operator in a team environment now how to play a certain operator with your team and how it kind of works now again this is going to be subjective to what i've seen how i've played and how i play and what i've watched on say pro league or challenger league or even some of the go fours that get casted but maybe not so much on the go fours it's going to be focused on competitive play and how each operator is going to be competitive on a team and how they're going to work with said team now this could be even if you're solo queuing or if you're playing with a five stack. But let's get right on to the video. Now remember that play styles vary from region to region and preferences vary between person to person. But the operator that we're going to start with today is Hibana. Coming from Operation Red Crow, Hibana was paired with Echo and she definitely changed the meta when she first came out. The fact that there wasn't only Thermite now who could hard breach and breach walls was astounding at the moment and it's still honestly having two hard breachers is still really good for a team but with that being said most people probably will prefer hibana over a thermite because i feel that she has more uses in variable situations and how things might play out so i usually would say pick hibana over a thermite if you're gonna only go with one hard breacher now she's a 3 speed, 1 armor, and that means that she could have fragging potential abilities. But I would say that Hibana is definitely support first and fragger second. Although, I'm sure some people would like to argue that you could definitely play her as just a fragger. Now she's a support because she has those Xkairos and she's important for hard breaching. And you want to get walls open before you go chase after people and kind of do entry fragging. That's why you have other characters like Ash and maybe IQ or any other 3 speed, um... That people like to enter with now for her loadout we got a type 89 as her primary assault rifle and we got a supernova as a shotgun now as her primary goes i prefer the type 89 nine times out of ten because why would you need a shotgun unless you're really playing in a cqb map or you just prefer it i guess um but most of the time especially for the newbies and stuff like that I would definitely go with the assault rifle. It's definitely just a better choice, although there are some situations, I guess, where you could use a supernova, but Type 89 is a better choice. Now for her secondary, you got the choice between a P229 and a Bearing 9. Now a P229 is a handgun, while the Bearing 9 is a machine pistol. I would definitely go with the Bearing 9 as your secondary because if you're using the primary loadout that I was talking about using a Type 89, you're going to have a long range gun, you're going to have a short range gun, so you don't really need that shotgun. And the Bearing 9 definitely can do a lot of damage at a short range because it has a very high rate of fire, so it'll make getting headshots a lot easier. As for her gadget, if you're playing her as a support, use a Claymore. Most of the time, your other operators on your team should have stun grenades, but her second gadget choice is stun grenades. I would say only use stun grenades if you're going to play her as a fragger, but again i would play as a support first fragger second so keep that claymore um it can definitely watch your back it can hold doorway for runouts or anything like that now let's talk about her x kairos the gadget that makes hibana hibana that thing that can get you through hard walls and get you through soft walls alike and you can get a hatch or two open or three <laughs> her gadget is very important because you can shoot these kairos from pretty much across the map if you really wanted to uh, you're probably not going to get a straight, a straight angle like that to do that, but most of the time you have distance that you can put in between yourself and what you want to blow up. Unlike Thermite where you have to go up to the wall and play games with Bandit if he decides to Bandit trick. Now you can use your Kairos to put one, two, or three holes in a wall. Now if you put three Kairos in a row, you'll get a standing and you can run through it and you don't have to crouch or anything like, see, like you can see here. If you put two on a, one on top of the other, then you have a crouching hole that you can get through. Although sometimes you want to make sure you put them close together so that there's no random reinforced wall pieces sticking out that won't let you crouch through or run through. Now lastly, if you just shoot one Cairo really low, say on a wall or on a garage door, you are able to crawl through it. But it has to be really close to the ground because it will destroy the bottom part of the reinforcement. If you don't destroy the bottom part of the reinforced wall, 
you will not be able to crawl through it because that's just how the game works. Lastly, speaking about her Kairos, if you are trying to open hatches, you can get some sick angles because in reality, you only need to get one out of the six Kairos onto the hatch for it to actually blow up. Now this is very important because you can get tight angles where you probably, if you were to stick out a little bit too much to get all six on there, you'd probably get shot. But if you're taking kitchen or something like that on say clubhouse, you can shoot right through the meat locker and get at least one or two on there and blow open the hatch. And now that we're done taking a look at Hibana's loadout and taking a look at her gadget and explaining what her gadget does, I want to give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to play Hibana or how to use her on certain maps. Now I'm not going to go over every single Hibana spot. If you want to see that, I'll link a video down below. Um, Dangleberries has done a really good video on a bunch of Hibana spots. I think it's really cool. But I'm not going to go over all of them for the sake of time in this video. And there's a ton of ways to shoot open hatches and stuff like that. But I'm just going to show you some tips and tricks that I think will make your life a little bit easier as Hibana. Now my first tip for today is going to be on the map Oregon. And it's going to be pretty much what you're going to do at the start of the round as Hibana. But most people will play Laundry Basement first as their first sight on Bomb. And even if you're playing secure, it'll still work just the same. A lot of people play mute to stop a um, Hibana or stop a Thermite from being able to blow open the hatch that overlooks uh, laundry. And you can actually open it regardless if there's a mute by shooting it in the bottom right corner like you see here. Now, if you shoot in the bottom right corner, make sure that there's no one watching from above. Make sure you drone out armory and stuff. You don't have to enter the building at all to do this. You can shoot it from outside like you guys saw. But it's very important that someone doesn't shoot your Kairos because you're probably not going to land all six Kairos on said hatch. Now, my second tip for you guys is going to be how to out-trick someone who's bandit tricking. Now, bandit tricking is when you hear something, a thermite, or you hear the Kairos hit the wall, and you ban put the bandit charge down really quick so that way you can destroy that utility. Now, the best way I have found if you're attacking, say, a garage or something that has two reinforced walls is have a Thatcher throw his grenade so it takes out any bandits that exist right there. Then you shoot your Kairos into the middle of both walls. You only need one set of Kairos to do this, but you want to make sure that you put it right in the middle so that you, if he bandit tricks one wall, you still put a hole of either two or four pellets wide that you can shoot through. And if he's sitting in a corner trying to bandit trick the other wall, you can totally keep opening it or you can keep opening the one that has a hole in it. Now going along the same lines of hard counters to Hibana or to Thermite, you have Mute. And Mute is not used nearly as much as Bandit might be, especially when you're attacking Garage or trying to blow open a wall, but he's still there nonetheless. Now if someone has a Mute Charge on a wall, you can still shoot your Hibanas. Nothing will happen to them except for the fact that you cannot detonate them. You cannot start that action of blowing open the wall with the Hibanas because it'll be muted. That's when Thatcher comes in handy. Thatcher will always be your best friend in all of this. Now another, I wouldn't say hard counter, but another counter is actually Jaeger. Jaeger has these ADSs that can take out any projectiles. Now in reality, he's only going to take out four out of the six pellets with the ADS. But with that being said, Hibana becomes very useful in an attack where you don't necessarily need to hard breach something. And you could probably use your Hibanas to get rid of those ADSs like you guys will see here. A lot of people, especially in Pro League, I've seen it, they'll shoot Hibana charges into a room to get rid of any ADSs or anything like that. So they can throw smoke grenades down, throw grenades down to clear out any sort of roamers or anyone that they're trying to make a push onto a site. Hibana is really useful for taking out those ADSs. Now, one last thing that I don't think people realize too much when they put mirrors on a wall or put mirrors like on a garage door if they put it in the middle of two reinforcements, or even if they just have it on one reinforcement, if you shoot your Kairos on there, it only takes one Kairo to actually open the mirror and put a hole where that mirror was. Now, it's really, really useful, especially if they put it in between two reinforced walls. You can honestly just shoot it straight at it, and then you have this huge opening where the mirror is not there anymore. So say if you put a Kairo below it, you can actually crouch through or run through depending on how big the hole is. Anyways, guys, going to wrap this video up for today. Let me know what you want to see as the next operator that I take a look at. I've been trying to just play one operator for a week straight to stay on attack. I've played Hibana for a week straight, kind of just to get the feel of it and trying to get the hang of it, although she is my main. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know what tips and tricks work for you guys. Also, don't forget, you can get around a bandit, you can get around a mute, you can get around a Mira, and you can definitely open all these hatches and take out the Jaeger ADSs with this. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. This is going to be Josh Snipes signing off.